for sale. Across accents, the clearest difference between the father vowel and the lot vowel is how the former is unrounded, whereas the lot vowel is far more frequently rounded. Even the use of the unrounded open front vowel is now only about a quarter of what it was for the father vowel. If you've been watching these videos on the playlist, can you see the trend of where this is going? Before we move on, note how for the lot vowel, the open back rounded vowel is the phone towards which all other accents approximate. The cloth vowel can largely be divided between those who use the lot vowel for it and those who use the thought vowel for it, and thus say it more like cloth. Again, we see this vowel is more likely to be rounded than the lot vowel. Those who have already rounded the previous vowel are tending to move up the right-hand side of the chart. Looking at the thought vowel, I want to draw your attention to the prominence of the open mid back rounded vowel over the close mid back rounded vowel. That will become significant when we look at the north and force vowels. Those using the fully open back vowel are likely to have the cot court merger. Pretty much everything else we see here is either the result of a slide or the usual misapproximations we find in certain localized accents here and there. Almost everyone agrees that the target of the goat vowel is the foot vowel. Although a variety of misapproximations occur for both its initial and final phone, some more serious than others, when it comes to its initial phone, note how the close mid back rounded vowel is more than twice as likely as the open mid rounded back vowel, that lay of the land is the opposite to what we find for the thought vowel. Remember that for when we look at the north and force vowels. As with the thought vowel, the north vowel is most likely to employ the open mid back vowel in its rounded form. However, the use of the close mid back vowel and mid back vowel are also both common, especially in places that have the north force merger. As usual, the presence of the schwa results mostly from accents which slide this vowel. North. A few accents favor using a phone more typically associated with the lot vowel. However, only a few accents have unrounded this vowel. The force vowel is typically a pure vowel, a monophthong, as opposed to the goat vowel, which is usually a diphthong, a sliding vowel. Nonetheless, they share a preference for the close mid back vowel over the open mid back vowel across accents. For those with the north force merger, this may seem irrelevant, but for those who maintain the distinction, it is important. Now the close mid back vowel is positioned near the boundary of the proper domains of the ors and ur runes. So, in a similar way to how er was originally constructed as a bind rune of e and ak, so too we can construct a bind rune of ors and ur for this sound where needed. With the y consonant not being considered, it becomes quite clear which phone is the target of the choice vowel. Although the consensus is that it should flow from rounded to unrounded, whether it should begin as the open mid back vowel or the close mid back vowel, opinion is divided on. Some prefer to begin it with a fully open back vowel, more like the vowel in lot than a thought. The remaining phones are mostly the result of price choice mergers. Thank you.